In homes are going to be continuing. No in person prom for 2020. No seniors will be walking across crowded stages for their graduation. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us tonight at six. I'm Doug Profit. The governor really boiling it down to that as he makes a decision to keep your student out of school buildings for the rest of this season. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams has been following this decision all day long today. He's live in Oldham County where they are already planning for what's next. Hello, Chris. Hey Doug, and just over my shoulder, you see some cars here. Ran into a couple of students from Oldham County High School having a, a virtual tailgate of short, sorts. They're social distancing, talking about the big news today. But this high school parking lot, this is the senior parking lot, and typically about this time it would be packed with students, anxious, excited, thinking about walking across a stage here in a couple of weeks for graduation. But today's official announcement by the governor means alternatives already being considered in this district will have to move to the front of the class. I don't think right now with the current environment that what we typically do is either broadband or Freedom Hall to really be the way that we can go this year. And so we'll put a task force together to look at all sorts of different options and hopefully come up with a great way to celebrate our seniors. We caught up with Superintendent Greg Schultz via FaceTime as he waited to take part in the 2 p.m. conference call with Governor Andy Bashir and superintendents across the Commonwealth. They've all wondered whether the plan to reopen the state was too long and complicated to get students back in the classroom before the end of the school year. For most, that's five to seven weeks away. I know it's devastating for our kids. Uh, it's devastating for our staff. It's devastating for me to a certain extent. I remain positive because I know that in the end, we will do the best we can for our students and know that even though this is a, a little bit of a once in a lifetime type opportunity that the students will be missing, that we have provided them a great education over their time with us and they'll be successful later on in life. The Oldham County Task Force will begin meeting on Wednesday and the superintendent told me he's confident they can come up with an acceptable alternative to the typical graduation. He also said that the district's online portal for enrollment is up and running and they have staffers answering emails as people start to ramp up and think about next year. As for next year, he hopes that they'll go back to the traditional instruction, but they're also working as though they may have to be on NTI just in case. For now, live in Oldham County, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News. All right, Chris, thank you very much.